My name is Kelly Potter and I'm the mayor of Heber City. I served one term on the city council and I really enjoyed my time, but I felt like there were a lot of things that we could do in the city to make it more proactive, more data driven, and so I decided to run for mayor and see what I could do to try and make a difference. The best part of my job is just being able to meet people in our community. We just really have an amazing community with people who care about the people around them, they care about where they live, they want to try and make things better. I said, let's do Main Street beautification, and many people came out and said, we'll adopt a planter box. And so they dug out the weeds, and they cleaned it up, and they planted flowers, and I'm just always overwhelmed with the goodness of people, and it just gives me an opportunity to meet people. And my kids don't like this, but in the grocery store, I'm always talking, and they're like, Mom, it takes forever. But it, it's given me a great opportunity to connect with the people in Heber City. I get a lot of calls and comments about things that have nothing to do with being the mayor of the city. A lot of complaints about the post office, and if I say, well, that's federal government, people say, well, you're the mayor. Well, you're the mayor. So I think, I think a lot of people think that the mayor has different power and authority than the mayor really does. So it's kind of funny to hear some of the things that come to me. And some of the things that are private things that people tell me, I guess, because they feel like somehow, you know, we want to tell somebody, we got to tell somebody about this issue. And so I hear stories that really aren't relevant to me. I mean, I'm happy to listen, but it's kind of interesting some of the, some of the things I know about people in Heber City that maybe are none of my business. <laughs> If I had some advice to give to a newly elected official, I would say try to forget some of your preconceived notions about how you think the government works if you haven't really been involved and really listen to the employees and listen to the public because there's so much to learn as a local government official. Sometimes we act like because we were elected we know everything and obviously we can't and we don't. But I feel like the more that um, we listen to the staff and listen to the public and try to just make good decisions, I think we get better outcomes the more that we, the more we listen.